Okay, second grade, we are going to continue with our unit on PowerPoint. And today what we're going to do is we're going to write about what you did on a day that you're, the day that you're doing this project or just a day in general that you want to talk about. That was an exciting day for you. So I'll show you how to do it on PowerPoint. Then I'll also show you how to use uh, Google Classroom and Google Slides because it's a similar um, concept. I also just want everyone to know you can also gain access to PowerPoint through Office 365 which is in your Teach Hub account. So if you if you don't have access to Microsoft PowerPoint on your computer you can go through Teach Hub, NYC Teach Hub and then from there in your account um, instead of clicking on into reading or Google Classroom you can click on Office 365 and there'll be PowerPoint in there. But I um, believe most of the remote students it's a little quicker for them to use Google Slides. So that's why both uh, options are okay. Anyway, so if you're in PowerPoint, what you're going to do is the first thing you're going to do is go to design and you pick the design that you like. You can pick, you know, if you want this one like this. And let me close out this updates here. And uh, that way you don't have to worry about that. Oh, here it is. Okay, so now you have your design that you want. And then said, oh, you go to home and you go to center and you could say, you know, you could say my day today, or you could say, you know, uh, let's say you're doing this April, you know, April, let's say you're doing this on April uh, you know, 10th, let's say April 10th, you know, 2021, whichever day you're doing it on, you could put it on here, or you could even call, you know, a, an amazing Thursday, whichever, you know, title you want to do it on, you click down here, and just like Word, you can make this to the center or to the left. And then you put your name down here. If you ever want to change the color, you can highlight it, and then you can change the color up here. Now, they're usually pretty good, Microsoft, in making the, the color nice for us. So, you know, I'm going to put a new slide so I can go over here. And you pick the slide that you like. I usually pick this one, Title and Content. So I hear Breakfast. I could say, for breakfast, I had a bowl of cereal. And in the next slide, you know, you can talk about maybe you had a Zoom session. You could say, I had my Zoom session for ELA with Mrs. And then you put your teacher's name in there. Okay. We read a book and talked about the characters, whatever you want to put in there. Right. And then maybe you had your lunch. Say, I had a peanut and jelly sandwich for lunch. It was delicious. Now, here's what I want the kids to see. I have two spell spelling errors here. And you see the red underline? That's just like Microsoft Word. So you can go to review, or you can use the right click. I could either do right click, and if I do right click on the mouse, it will fix the spelling for me or I can go to review and I can go to spelling and I can click the one I like and I can change it so it will change it for me that my spelling is correct so just make sure you, you choose the word that you want to put in there so we have breakfast I have your zoom session I have lunch and then maybe you have your next set I don't know what the kids do for the next session maybe you do your math so you can say uh, after lunch we had a math session on how to work with fractions. Okay, and then finally, if you want to do your last slide, you could talk about uh, fun. You maybe you had like, then I went to the park and saw my friend. We rode our bikes around. So tell me about a day that you had this week. It could be the day that you're doing this project. Or it could just be a day in general that you want to talk about. And we're going to make our slides here. And then what you can do is if you click on a slide and you have your insert, you could insert picture and a picture from online. So maybe you want to put a cereal in here. You had a bowl of cereal. Oh, sorry about that. Wrong. Oh, there it is. Wrong one. Spelled it wrong, but the computer figured it out for me. Okay, so I got a breakfast cereal there. And then I have um, over here, maybe you want to say, uh, let's see if they have, you can, you can close these out if you don't want to do here. 
You could say like a video chat. Maybe you put a video chat instead of Zoom. All right, so you have your video chat over here. If you want to put one of those in here for like it to symbolize your lesson with the teacher. Okay, if you want to do that, and then for lunch, you know, you can go back over here, online pictures. So I got, I went over here, insert pictures, online pictures. That's how you get it up there. And then it could say a peanut. Right here, put it in. Okay, so you get the general sense how to do that. And a few other things I wanted the kids to see. What you can do is you can click on them. I and mean, there's many features in PowerPoint. And you can go to transitions. You can put in transition like that to make them go up and down. And you can click apply to all. And that way when I go to the slide, whoop, it will make it go like that. I could also go to animations. So animations is when you have it fly up, right? So you could go over here and if you click on breakfast, I click animations and fly in. Now that my breakfast is flying in, I can click over here. I could say, you know, I want it looking like that. I can click on this. And I could have it, you know, dissolve like that. So it makes it look nice and neat for us. Another thing I can do is I can go to the home page. I can go insert. And I could insert audio. And I could record. And you could record yourself saying, Hi, I'm so-and-so. And this is my presentation on an amazing Thursday. And then you just click record. Hi, I'm Mr. Caniano. And this is my presentation on an amazing Thursday. And I insert it right there, and now I have it over here, and I could just play it. Hi, I'm Mr. Caniano, and this is my presentation on an amazing Thursday. If you don't like it, you just click it in backspace. You could delete it. Slideshow from the start. And now you have all your things popping up. You can click your sound over here. You click the arrow Hi. to hear it or to go to the next slide, and you see the animations. They will all fly in. Okay, so that's uh, PowerPoint. If you want to do it on Google Slides, that's perfectly uh, appropriate as well. You just go to your assignment, click on Slides. Very similar. We talked about this last week. And we're, we're going to become pros at PowerPoint and Slides by practicing each week. So you can say an amazing oh, thing Thursday. And, you know, it doesn't have to be a school day. You could choose, an, you know, another day if you'd like. Maybe a weekend day, whichever. And it doesn't have to be um, a day you did exactly today. It could be a day a few days ago if you had something really exciting that you did. Anyway, you go to slide. You go to change theme. And you could you know, put in a nice color in the background. Maybe like this one. A nice blue background. Again, you could add a plus. And then you could tell me about your breakfast, what you had that day. And then, again, if you want to go insert, insert image. Search the web, and I could say a cereal. A cereal box. Let's see what they got here. Oh, look at that. Frosted Flakes. And I click it and do insert. And now you have your cereal in there. Okay, so you can resize that if you want. And then you're going to put about, you know, your breakfast, what you had that day. And then you just click the plus, and you could do the, the rest of them. Okay, so tell me about the... Uh, an amazing day that you had, or it could just be the day that you're currently doing. I just want to show everybody real quick before I forget. Um, when you're in your slide here, you could do your transition if you want. You could have transitions just like the other one. Maybe you want uh, dissolve, and then you could apply to all. And that way when you play it, when you present, it will dissolve just like just like the other one. Now, I, I didn't have enough um, writing in here to make it work. And it was at the end. But I also will show you, you could have your animations here. If you click on it, I could add an animation. And I could have it fl uh, fly in on the click. I could play it. And then it looks like that. And then if you just go to present when you're done, if you click on the first one. Oh, i got to stop this. If you go to the first one and you go to present. And then it will, it will, when you click the arrow, it will go through. And each one will go through. And so you could add your animations and your transitions. I also want to show the people who are using um, Google Slides as well. You could insert an image, and you could you could take a photo of yourself if you want to take a photo of yourself to put it in there. If you want to record, what you'd have to do is you'd have to go to audio, and then what you'd have to do is you'd have to uh, upload an audio. So you may have to um, have a different program and upload it. So it's not as um, 
uh, friendly as um, PowerPoint in that sense, but you know most of the other things are exactly the same, and it's not required to, to put in sound or anything like that. So that's our um, assignment for this week. Please write an, about an amazing day that you had. It could be the day that you're doing this. It could be a day prior, and you're just going to write a few slides about you know a cover, and then talking about you know what happened early in the day and what happened later on in the day. So that's our assignment for this week continuing our unit on PowerPoint and Google Slides.